This channel includes a direct message from A.A. Michael about using a sword of light. He assists us releasing past patterns and energy that are now holding us back. How many times do you find yourself procrastinating, holding back, not making a decision or just standing in limbo? Sometimes this form of resistance can be a protective mechanism from your divinity. But most often it's your ego or personality getting in the way and keeping you in limitation. A.A. Michael has been a part of the energy fields of Earth for many, many centuries. During that time the way humanity has perceived him has shifted. It's gone from a form of righteousness and protection to a place of flowing light that will assist you in creating change or integrating more of your divinity. During this channel he will assist you in creating an even deeper change and when using his sword, you actually seal off the area once you've cleared the old energy. He then gives every person their own sword to use as they so choose. This channel clears energy on many levels and assists you with a new tool from A.A. Michael. Even if you were given a sword in the past, this one is associated with the crystalline energies of the universe. Shelly Namasika, Venia Benya, I am the one, I am the whole I greet you beloved family. I reach out to each one of you. I reach out from my heart to yours celebrating our time of coming together. Celebrating that this is a time in which you are choosing to acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge yourself as your divinity. Acknowledge yourself as the individual that you are, infusing the energy of your light, of your God Source energy, so that it may become a part of your everyday life. As I align more and more fully with each one of you I find that the energies of the earth continue to transform. Everyone who walks upon the earth is living and breathing. You have a biology that creates who you are in this lifetime. You have your thoughts, your mental, emotional, spiritual, physical energies that create you as this person in this lifetime. You are also this immense God Source energy. You as your divinity stretches into infinity. From within that space you have access to more than you can comprehend as the human that you are. I would like to speak of this at this moment, because the more that you allow for your consciousness to tap into that potential of so much more as your soul essence the more that you can let that flow into your life upon the earth. That is what I am doing right now and that is what you do for yourself numerous times throughout the day. We speak of ascension. We speak of how the earth has ascended in other words moving from the third dimension through the fourth and into the fifth dimension. We speak about the individual people that have moved through an ascension process and that ascension process has taken you from the third dimension, through the fourth and into the fifth and even the sixth and for some the seventh. I speak these numbers because it gives the human's analytical mind something that will assist you in greater understanding. I invite you to take this moment and look around you. Feel who you are as a person in this now lifetime. Consider your emotions. Consider your thoughts or your beliefs and as if all of that just swirls together weaving a pattern of light that is you open to that right now. Take a deep breath in and then breathe out. Eh, I can feel each one of you becoming so much more grounded and centered through that discussion. I invite you to take one more breath in where you send your energy. You breathe in and you send your energy all the way down into the earth as a means of grounding yourself to the earth. Then let that flow of energy come up and you release the consciousness of your physical body. You allow all that energy move into the space of your higher self. As it arrives within your higher self look around at what this space is to you. It may be a place where you see the things that you have been working on. It may be a place where you see opportunities and potentials perhaps some of which have not as yet manifested for you. Perhaps there are some of those things that you would like to clear out. So will you clear out that energy? Let it go and then allow this place to become your sanctuary where you can still be very grounded and very conscious of the energies that are within here. Allow your consciousness to stream even further as if you follow that cord of energy that links you to your divinity. Allow it to stream all the way back until you Find yourself linking with your own I am presence. For some it may be as if you see a person walking towards you for others it is just an indistinct flow of light and energy. Howsoever you perceive your I am presence I invite you to take a moment, 
as if you know this is who I am in this lifetime, and I would like to see who I am as my divinity. Then as if you are opening up that door or opening your third eye look even deeper within your divinity. As I speak of this it is as if I see coming from your I am there is a part of your divinity that is saying, Welcome you are here. You have come to connect to me thank you for taking this moment to reconnect. You are so loved. You are so valued as the individual that you are coming straight from your divinity into you in this now moment. Allow your energy to merge completely with your I am presence and as you do so allow your consciousness to stretch out, as if you push the boundaries even further, as if the unconscious part of you moves out and becomes a part of what you are conscious. Be open to receive. Be open to allow for this flow to come within you the person that you are right now. I the goddess walk in and amongst all who are here. I reach out to embrace you as your consciousness and all of you as your divinity. As we do so you may find yourself shifting into the space of the all that island. Feel as if you allow yourself to come within this space of creation so that you may know what is here, so that you may know yourself and the many, many, many opportunities. Each time that we get together there is so much that I wish to speak to you about. There is so much that I wish to communicate, well speak, communicate but there are many different beings and beings of light that would also like to participate in these teleconferences. So that which I speak all the many different energies and beings that are here for you, and also to assist you in realizing that any time you would like to come into this space and reach out for one of the angels, for one of the teachers, the Ray Lords for whatever that may be you can do that. I can facilitate this, but so too you have the opportunity to move here within this space. I wish to speak this evening about limitation. How often within your life have you said I would love to participate in? You fill in the blank for your life, but I'm not qualified. How many other times has someone invited you to be part of a group experience and you think yes, and then you come behind yourself and think I am not as qualified as they are? They are really open and in alignment and I'm open, but I'm not where they are. How often in life have you wanted to do a particular job and then didn't even apply because I thought I'm not qualified? How many times have you looked at perhaps a place you want to live, a car you would like to have and said I would love to have that in my life, but... And then you can finish there. As humans you have a tendency to think within the narrow confines of your personality or your ego self. As humans especially for those that spent so much of their lives in the third or the lower parts of the fourth dimensions, it was as if you were raised with limitations. So in this now moment I invite each one of you to have a sense of connecting with limitation that you have within your life. Okay I've been hearing some of you say as if you see it on a projector or on a screen, or if you have a sense of writing it upon a board. Whatever it takes for you to become conscious of limitations within your life let that come into you now and you can see it, feel it, howsoever it resonates with you. And then with whatever that may be take that which is the most primary to you, or that which seems the biggest to you. As if you are reaching out to whatever it may be bring it up within your consciousness, bring it from the ethers wherever that may be and then have a sense of bringing it up, bring it up, bring it up and you and let it go. I could feel each one of you releasing whatever limitation is to you. I could also feel several of you as if there was a string that was attaching whatever that limitation was so you could kind of sneakily pull it back to you. So once more as if you take that laser or that sword of light whatever it may be and as if you go down to where that source is within you, connect to where it may be. As if you are gently bringing it out from there bring up that foundation or that source of limitation, bring it up. Bring it up, bring it up, will you, much better. For some of you as we release the limitation it is as if you just kind of float. So limitation in your life can be like a weight that you are carrying around. Begin to look at the opportunities that are now coming towards you, because you let go the lack, or the limit, and you open to new potential and then let that flow within you. Okay, okay. How often in your life do you procrastinate? How often in your life do you say you are so excited about something you have coming up, but you don't take the steps to prepare? You don't send out your invitations. 
You don't do whatever the groundwork is you may need to do, but you still want to have so badly, to have something that you want to manifest. This is a subtle form of how unconsciously you have resistance that keeps you from embracing fully what you seek to have. So if there is procrastination within your life send out that energy, send out to wherever that may be so that you can pull it into you, pull it towards you, and any way that you procrastinate let that come up within you bring it up, bring it up you, and let that go. Few as if there is a wash of energy I just see everyone just clearing out your energy fields and I feel the excitement of anticipation. Okay now I can go do that. Now I'm ready. Now let me get started in my project. As you are living your life I invite you to take the opportunity to just kind of get in touch within yourself. Sometimes procrastination or hesitancy can actually be coming from your divinity to say that's not the best road for you. The more that you begin to question yourself in any situation the more that you will realize this is coming from resistance and this time it is coming from there being something better for me out there. I am looking at the energies around all of you. I'm reaching out to look at some of your potentials, some of your opportunities and I invite you to consider it in one simple manner. When you consider something that you would like to have in your life does it make you happy? When you consider going down a new pathway making a different choice does it cause you to anticipate and feel excited? When you consider some other alternatives what I'm hearing from people is that analytically you think this is a good job for me because it pays well and I make good connections, but you dread every moment that you are there. This is a good move for me to go to this other city or state because I want a new beginning. In your heart that makes you feels joyful and light and then you say but I don't know anybody and I don't have a job there so you hold yourself back. In every situation you have the opportunity to choose and sometimes that choice is about being open to a new potential. What do I truly wish to have in my life? What am I really seeking to have in my life? I spoke earlier about the dimensions and the fact that the earth is now living within the fifth dimension. Within the fifth dimension time moves more quickly. There is less density or less resistance which is one reason why time can pass quickly. So too as you consider what is happening in your life, what you are seeking, that acknowledgement of where you are and that clarity that you put forth to the universe is what places you wherever it is that you need to be so that you see, hear, sense what you need to know as you seek to manifest. I'm pausing for a moment because there are a number of energies who are here and present this evening. Archangel Michael would like to take a moment to speak with you at this time so I defer inviting him to come in and speak with you. A.A. Michael speaks, I greet you beloved family. I reach out at this time in which you live upon the earth. I'm known as Archangel Michael, but I have manifested in many, many ways throughout the years. I have been known as the protector with my sword of light. I am known to come to people when they feel desperate or they are seeking assistance. The past millennium was one focused within my energies so to speak and with this millennium it has shifted into the energies of Saint Germain, but we are but a couple of the thousands, and hundreds of thousands, and millions of energies out here in service to you as the human. The reason that I wish to speak to you tonight is because as you live in the higher, lighter dimensions such as the fifth or sixth or seventh you begin to work with the light energy, that which is crystalline based, that which is your light body and while I have done this to many of you before I wish to come tonight and present everyone with their own sword from me to you. In the past during the Crusades people illustrated the sword in a defensive mechanism standing for what they considered right and wrong, trying to create situations where other people would believe what they believed through the might of the sword. This is played out countless times throughout the many, many centuries upon the earth. As the vibration of the earth rises what happens is there is an intrinsic balancing that takes place. As this balance is taking place, and as it permeates the earth, that which is in discord to balance comes out. It comes out through violence. It comes out through control and manipulation. It comes out through a greater distinction in the separation of people. I invite you to remember that moving forward is about the balance. Moving forward is living from the heart and when you live from the heart you do not choose to harm others. I hear you and I am very well aware of humanity. 
I hear you saying well tell that to the billions of people that don't know it. Again we are creating a space of balance and we are creating a space in which you as an individual have the opportunity to work with the light, meaning the light vibrations, meaning the higher vibrations, meaning the light that comes from within your heart. The less you get involved emotionally, mentally or physical with what is being released the greater your capacity to infuse that energy that comes within. So it is as if you are infusing the collective consciousness, and you are infusing humanity with the intention of balance and light energy. And for that reason I present each one of you with the light body sword of light and truth. With that I Archangel Michael infuse this crystal, infuse the light body sword and I offer it to you. It is yours to receive. It is yours that it will serve and support you within your life. I believe you already know that this type of the sword of light and energy works only in the highest light vibration of love and balance. Therefore if one were to use their energetic sword for any other reason it would rebound back upon you or it would just diffuse and do nothing. I invite you to breathe in. Receive your sword of light and allow it to energetically merge throughout you in this consciousness, in this physical, mental, emotional person that you are. If you seek to create change within your life ask for your sword and it will manifest within you as if you send it out to the ethers to rest out there it will always come when you ask. Use this as a means of creating clarity within your life. Use this as a means of cutting through that which is your ego or personality, and that which is your divinity so that you may know what is in your best interests. So that you may know when you are living from your heart and living from your divinity. I am Archangel Michael and I thank you for this opportunity. Ansaluia the Goddess of Creation speaks, greetings once more. I invite you to take a moment to just integrate that energy from Michael. The energy of the light sword that he gifted each one of you with is in alignment with your light body energy. So call in your light body right now as if you hold that sword like a lightning rod and invite your light body energy to come within you. I see it just been drawn towards you and then it swirls through each one of you. Feel, see, sense, know what this is for you. As you live your life upon the earth I invite you to do so through your heart center allowing your divinity to be very much a part of who you are and also to consciously listen as you make decisions within your life. There is no right or wrong. Life is but one experience, followed by another and another. Feel what that may be for you. As you look around the all that is be aware of all that you have drawn into you within this space. Practice utilizing the sword from Archangel Michael and he is there for you to talk with any time you so choose. I am laughing because I see some of you fencing with him. I am laughing because I see others examining it as if to say look at it this way and then this way, and for those individuals as if it becomes blue and then orange and then white as if the light blade of the sword shifts and then transitions depending on the situation. Change can occur in an instant. Be open to receive and know that you are within the light, the light of your divinity, the light of God source energy. Feel how that can assist you. I invite you to come together as a group. As you do so there is a hologram of the earth that comes up within. As this hologram comes up I see Archangel Michael as if he is permeating throughout as he looks around at everyone, and he makes eye contact with everyone so that his energies link with you anchoring your connection to him into this hologram. I invite you to infuse within it anything at all that you would like. Anything that you would like to manifest, anything, and as that hologram takes in that energy it begins to swirl. It begins to shift moving and there is a flow as it moves down into the earth as it flows through that crystalline grid that goes out to the universe and into the earth. There is a clarity and a balance that is infused and as that hologram reaches down into the earth it goes into the core essence of the earth itself anchoring within the crystals and then it flows outwards expanding bigger and bigger and bigger. As it comes up through the earth I invite each one of you to be open and to receive that energy as it comes up. It comes up through your feet, through your energy bodies. It comes up anchoring within you. So too it comes up through the grass, the trees, the water into the animals, into all that is upon the earth infusing that energy of balance, infusing that energy of light, infusing one's own truth, 
truth from you divinity as opposed to truth from your ego that may not always be from a balanced space. So that infuses the earth moving out in every direction. Allow you focus to return once more to the all that is and it is as if we have cleared out this space through all that you have been changing and creating during this journey. So I invite you to send your own consciousness flowing back. It flows down through the soul plane. Feel your energies within your higher self and then once more anchor linking with everything that came up from the earth, linking with that energy from the universe so that as you feel yourself grounding in this now moment, clear out whatever no longer works for you and then integrate that balanced energy. Integrate your sword of light. Integrate who you are because you are so much more than what your human self perceives. All right beloved family as you move through the next days upon the earth I invite you to enjoy playing with the energies of Archangel Michael. I invite you to enjoy being in this space, in this space of your divinity, of your flow and of knowing you can create moment by moment. You can flow this way or that way and no matter what you are doing as you seek to manifest all is available and all is here. You are so very loved and I am with you and within you. Ansail you ea.